the biggest myth that I want to bust is that it's a diet for everybody. It is not. Veganism, plant-based in particular, is a diet for the privileged people who can choose to do so. The moment you started eating a bit of egg white, it begins to kill you slowly. They went after me. They went after me. Oh my God. You did a documentary called Clean Eating, mm. which is um, predominantly about pl plant-based eating. It wasn't predominantly. I did look at plant-based. I also looked at the alkali diet and I also looked at gluten-free. So let's talk about those last two then. Yes. So um, plant-based diet. I, I, I heard that there was a lot of adverse reaction from some people in some communities regarding the plant-based um, component of that documentary. Is that true or false? That is true. That is true. And and the reason there was a problem was, look, I, I, I hope you think, speaking to me, that I'm a reasonable person. I speak with some nuance. I don't think so. What we did was, was uh, plant-based has taken on a different meaning today, okay, based on the supermarkets and what have you. But when I did the program, plant-based meant a far more restrictive version of veganism. Plant-based meant that you ate, you ate minimally processed foods, hardly any sugar, and you ate a whole foods only. It's fine. It's a, it's, a perfectly healthy, it's a perfectly healthy diet as long as you take the right supplements. The problem is the plant-based people become vegan or plant-based for many different reasons ethical reasons, environmental reasons, and health, okay? All three or, 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 or a mix of the three. The, the, the one issue I took with the plant-based community in that program is that they believed that there was no safe dose of animal protein, okay? Which meant that even eating a bit of egg white, the moment you started eating a bit of egg white, it begins to kill you slowly. In, you know, you know, because I says, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. And it doesn't support the, the science doesn't support it. We eat too much meat. The science does support that. OK, but eggs. OK, uh, um, um, you know, people veget then you're calling vegetarians. They're killing themselves because they're eating eggs or, or something. That was what I took them up on. And they thought that because I was challenging, I says there is a safe dose of animal protein. We do need to eat less meat. That's that's. They went after me. They went after me. Oh my God, um, um, it was it, it it was amazing. In fact, the the program has probably gone around the world probably four or five times. And the reason why I know is because every time it pops up in a new, you know, BBC doesn't tell me. Every time it pops up in a new country, I, I wake up to my inbox or my social media, and suddenly I get a rush of hate. Ah, oh, the Canadian vegans have seen it again. Oh look, it's in Australia. Oh, the Swedish vegans. Hello. You know, and 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 so and it's just this really odd evangelical, evangelical. I want to point out. I know this, this you know, please. It's the people that believe there is no safe dose of animal-based protein. Clearly, there is a safe dose. Um, there are different reasons for doing things, but don't say silly things. That's what that's what got me into trouble with with the evangelical vegans. Because I've watched some sort of plant-based vegan documentaries on Netflix, mm -hmm. and I come away from them thinking, Christ, I should never eat any meat ever again for a variety of reasons. Actually, the reasons that I think they tend to lead with are are more about the impact upon your health and your diet. I think that that's a much more compelling. Um, sell for, for most people, especially for people in, in parts of the world where they, they have another set of problems they're dealing with first, which is trying to feed themselves, period. Um, but as it relates to health mm. and veg veganism, plant-based diets, what are some of the stereotypes there that, that you've highlighted one, that there is a quantity of meat products that is healthy? What are the general stereotypes there that are that need addressing. So a, a couple of things that, that is it healthy to be on a plant-based diet? Let's just deal with that first, okay? And I think as long as you do it carefully and think about it and take the right supplements, it is. You have to supplement when you're on a plant-based diet, okay? You have to supplement certain things, vitamin B12, iodine, iodine, pardon me. Um, you gotta watch your iron, you gotta watch your calcium, but you can do it safely, okay? But I just, the biggest myth that I want to bust is that it's a diet for everybody. It is not. Veganism, plant-based in particular, is a diet for the privileged people who can choose to do so. I can choose to do it. You can choose to do it. If you live in a developing country, okay, or, no, 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 I don't even stop that. Not even living in a de developing country. If you are Mrs. Smith working two minimum wage jobs, okay, in this country trying to feed your kids, are you really going to be concerned with your pulses and making sure the supplements are right to actually feed your kids so they can have a vegan diet? 
No, you want to feed your kids, all right? And so what annoys me about, about evangelical uh, plant-based and vegan is not that people do it. People should do what they want to do. But what they do is they make other people feel bad by not having that diet, particularly when they don't have the choice to do it. That is what, that is what annoys me. I've seen some videos on social media, we've probably all seen them, of certain activist groups that want people to stop eating animal products, going into supermarkets and taking the lid off of the milk and just pouring it all over the floor in protest. If you were sat with one of those people that goes into supermarkets, pours milk on the floor and goes into the meat section and does whatever, and they came to you and they said, what should we be doing instead, in your perspective, to move people away from animal products for moral or environmental reasons, whatever it might be, what would be a better strategy based on what you've, you, you believe and what you've studied? We do not need, every, we need to move the curve. We do not need everyone to be vegan. We, we, we don't. We, okay, there are gonna be people who are vegan and that's perfectly fine. I wanna stress, I am not anti-vegan in the slightest, but what we need as a world is for everyone to eat 10 to 20% less meat today. That is achievable. Don't eat meat at lunch. Don't eat meat on Fridays, whatever it is. Don't eat meat one, 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 once a week. We need to eat 10 to 20% less meat and less meat products. Why? For two, for, for, for two different reasons. That the environmental impact would be enormous. Beyond anything, the environmental impact would be enormous. And that would help the, 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 the environment. That's the first thing. It's interesting. So COP26, I think, was just finished. And COP27 is... is the the People were talking about sustainable farming. People were clearly talking about fossil fuels. All of these need, 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 need to talk about. But no, the term eat less meat, not eat no meat, eat less meat did not even make it to the discussion. It was not even mentioned in the, in, in, in the final thing because people are too afraid about the farm, about the farm lobby, okay? But that's because we're framing this in a slightly the wrong way. Because people think, oh, you want us to cut out meat entirely. You want us to destroy our farming industry. No, we need to just eat a little bit less meat, all of us immediately, for, for the environment. And actually, that will also turn to, to, to our health as well. On the one hand, I'm saying that there's a safe dose of meat. On the other hand, I'm saying eat less meat. But that is the, that is the answer. It's a nuanced answer where we eat too much meat. And, and for us, the privilege we at least have a responsibility to try and eat to try and eat mm. less meat because we have the choice. We have the wherewithal in, in, in order to do it. And so I think that is what we need to do. We need to take a more nuanced view about it, less evangelical, understand that people's socioeconomic place on, the, on, on said ladder is important about the choices which they have. We need to make healthier food, whatever you want to do, healthy for the planet, healthy for the environment. Okay, we need to make it the cheaper, easier, and more convenient choice. That's what we need to do. If you love the Diver CEO brand and you watch this channel, please do me a huge favor, become part of the 15% of the viewers on this channel that have hit the subscribe button. It helps us tremendously and the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the guests.